Okay, hello, Jim Howard here in Fort Worth, Texas. Today's date, it is uh, February 8th of 2018. As you can see on the screen here, I'm looking, uh, I'm looking this way, but I'm actually, look, but it's over there. Well, wait a minute here, let's do this. Maybe that'll look like I'm looking at it. Okay, that looks like I'm looking at it, right? As you can see here, in four minutes, the federal government is again going to shut down. This is this is really pitiful. Uh, for those of you not, not in the United States, please try to control your laughter. Although, I don't know, you might be crying. Here, the United States is a world power and probably the most powerful nation in the world. And uh, this is the second time this month that... Uh, oh, wait a minute. I, I didn't start this soon enough. The federal government has been shut down for five minutes. Uh, I see now, you know, here in the central time zone, it's uh, five minutes after 11 p.m. So the government of the United States of America, again, for the second time this month, has been, is shut down. So there are employees on, uh, the well, all over, but there are employees that uh, it looks like, unless... Something happens here, and it probably will. Try to control your laughter, please. It probably will. Um, but there are employees who, right now, federal government employees, okay, you know, if there's a certain group, you know, there are police, fire, uh, EMS, security, and others who, and the military who work, even though they're not going to, you know, not going to get paid, they will get paid, but but there's more to it than the, than there. You know, if I spent two weeks, I went to visit my daughter in Washington D.C. back a, a couple of years ago. Spent two weeks there, and every place that we went in Washington D.C. was, you know, um, uh, free because it was. Uh, uh, museums, things like that, they were all free. You know, if you, if I were to do that, if I had, say, Monday gone, uh, I would have had, uh, today is now Friday, but I would have had four days of the two weeks, and then uh, on a Friday, we wouldn't have been able to go anywhere because all the things are closed. But there are also people who, you know, take vacations, and you're going to Yellowstone Park or uh, uh, one of the many national parks. When I was in Florida, I went to three, I think, national parks down there. Uh, just think, you know, you drive across the United States, or you fly, uh, or you come from outside the United States, and you want to see something and uh, closed. You're not allowed in because the federal government has shut down. If you are a Netflix customer, they have the West Wing on there and you can watch the episode where the federal government shuts, you know, shuts down. A good episode, you know. And then, of course, the next episode is, you know, how the government gets back into operation. But this is really pitiful. A midnight deadline passes as Senator Rand Paul prevents a budget deal from passing. But lawmakers think the shutdown could end sometime, sometime Friday morning. And I'm sure it will. Sort of like your kid and your, uh, you know, 
hoping that it snows so you, you'll get out of, you know, a big heavy snow so you get out of school. And then uh, you wake up and the snow's melted or something or other. And uh, But I think federal government employees really don't, <laughs> you know, they don't want the government to shut down so they don't have to go to work. Oh, so this is, this is really pitiful. Uh, our government is so dysfunctional and the political system is so messed up and it's embarrassing to, you know, as an American, I'm embarrassed at the way things have been going. And the solution doesn't appear to be, uh, doesn't appear to be easy. We're a divided, we're a divided nation. Uh, as you, you know, as you know, I'm a keen fan of technology and always have been. I mean, before, before there was an internet, I, I used to, uh, when the first Sputnik was launched by the USSR, I picked up the radio signals and tracked it. And uh, I tracked, uh, I think Explorer 7 was one, one of the U.S. ones, satellites. And I would fall asleep with my shortwave radio on and my headphones on. And I had calculated how many minutes, you know, before, you know, 90 minutes or whatever it was before. And I'd fall asleep and then I'd hear the beeping coming on, you know, and I I was into technology before we had what we think is technology now and but it appears that technology, the internet, Facebook, Twitter and all and cable news, uh satellite communications it appears that it uh, is we're a victim, you know, the nation is a victim of it and all of us are victims of it. And if you're outside the United States, this, you know, is impacting, impacting you. White House advises agencies to prepare for shutdown. Government has been shut down 11 minutes. What a government shutdown means for you. Analysis, Rand Paul is right. Uh, Senator Rand Paul warns of day of reckoning. The sneaky way Congress plans to raise the debt ceiling. Anger rises as DACA left out of budget budget deal again. Uh, Asian stock markets plunge after latest Dell sell-off. Chicago is bracing for its biggest snowstorm since 2015. Trump hires in his own image bullies. Post, posters and bad boys. Uh, oh, okay, maybe we don't have to worry. A small asteroid will pass very close to the Earth. Probably the federal government employees who track it, monitor it, make predictions, they're probably going to be uh, not working for a few days, so... Yeah, this defection fears at the Winter Olympics. You know that if some of the North Korean people can def- def- defect, uh, I'm sure they will. I'm sure, and that's going to be a situation. You know, if it happens, uh, that whole thing is just so. Watch the West Wing again, by the way. There's a episode, two episodes on shutdown of the federal government. There's a episode or two about a Chinese uh, pianist uh, wanting to defect. Uh, Ex-pilot pleads guilty to flying while drunk. Ooh, good chance South Korean president will be invited to North Korea. Did you hear that uh, Vice President Pence 
is going to the Olympics and ordered in order to disrupt the cooperation or coordination working between, you know, my God, my God. We want to do everything. We should want to do everything we can to facilitate and to try to get communications, try to get cooperation, try to get the craziness to stop. And the Vice President of the United States has received, I guess, his marching orders. Well, I don't want to rave about this. I thought I was going to do a thing that, hey, the federal government is quitting. I think I uh, logged in here. It took me a, a, a minute or two to find my headphones or something. Anyway. Uh, from the United States of America, where right now we do not have a functioning federal government uh, to the rest of the world. Please contain your laughter or your tears, whichever. Thank you very much for watching.